In the meantime, we've been given an idea of how many tropical cyclones are likely to hit us this coming season. Niwa's latest outlook says between six and ten cyclones could form in the southwest Pacific between November and April. At least three of them are likely to be severe. Modelling suggests wind speeds could reach at least 119 kilometres an hour. Newer forecaster Ben Knoll joins us now to discuss this further. Kia ora Ben, thanks very much for your time tonight. Six to ten tropical cyclones, it sounds like a lot for one season, is it? Yeah, kia ora Ingrid. Well, tropical cyclones, the season starts in November and we average about uh, eight or so cyclones, eight or nine cyclones a season. So it's about normal for the time of year, but we do have La Nina and La Nina means that the western part of the Pacific has a higher risk for cyclone activity. So uh, countries like Vanuatu, New Caledonia, Papua New Guinea, and us here in Aotearoa, New Zealand, uh, have an elevated risk, a normal to elevated risk for cyclone activity as we go through the season. OK, so which parts of New Zealand are most likely to be affected? I know they're pretty tricky to track these cyclones. How much notice would we get? Yeah, so... Uh, Certainly, we, we do know usually about five to seven days in advance when one of these systems might come down. So that's the good thing. Um, as we saw last summer, several extropical cyclones, you know, passed near our coastlines, highlighted by Dovey in February. Uh, so we have a similar climatic state this coming summer season. And there's a concern that we might uh, see a repeat of some of those impactful storms like we saw last summer. So uh, we need to be on guard. You know, what we've seen in the northern hemisphere with uh, her, uh, Fiona. Fiona, Hurricane Fiona, uh, which slammed Nova Scotia and Newfoundland, and then more recently Hurricane Ian. I think overall we need to be, you know, mentally prepared uh, that the next big one, you know, could be coming for us uh, as soon as the upcoming season. Uh, but you know, certainly these storms are impactful, uh, and they do come every year. Okay, how much of this cyclone forecast is down to La Nina or El Nino weather patterns versus climate change? Yeah, so the El Nino Southern Oscillation, which has La Nina on one side, El Nino on the other, that is the key driver for our outlook. So we know that that plays an important role uh, in the year-to-year -year activity in the basin. Uh, in terms of climate change, the long-term signal for the Southwest Pacific, the number of storms may remain about the same, but the intensity of those storms, uh, that could be on the rise as we go through time with warmer waters, warmer seawater. Uh, that's the fuel for these systems. And the warmer the water is, uh, that can lend itself toward more intense storms. So the number might remain the same in the future, but the intensity could go up for the ones that we do have. Okay, thanks for that analysis, Ben. Thank you.